everyone. Welcome to this very exciting video. I want to introduce to you the Akan day names and the attributes of people who were born on those days. I wanted to show you some of the characters, which is of me as an Ama. That's why I have put this picture right here. When we get to Saturday, you will understand quite a lot of things. Those of you who are into zodiac signs and general behaviors, this will be right up your alley. Let's start with the first day of the week. So in the Akan system, the first day of the week is Sunday, similar to what happens in the Bible. In the creation story, it was that we started on day one, the Sunday, and the day, the final day was Friday, and then we have the Sabbath on the Saturday. No different, no different. But people who are born on Sunday, they have very interesting attributes. Like I've already said, they were born on the first day of the week. Yep. Aquesiada, the day on which the creator descended to the universe to begin created. Kwa, the creator, si, to descend in the Akan language. Very interesting. So the, uh, the descent of the creator, the beginning of creation, but these are the attributes. Sunday borns are simply outstanding. Yeah, very outstanding. If they like you, then you are good. <laughs> and if they don't, well, I will leave you to imagine it. These guys don't beat about the bush. They are straightforward. They are quite principled. They are fearless. They will tell you exactly what's on their mind. Sometimes they may appear to be rude and arrogant to some people, even authoritarian, apparently. Well, I do have a sister born on Sunday. <laughs> and every time I read these things, I smile to myself. They are delightful to be around. They are very faithful. Even sometimes you get them to be warm and fuzzy. Particularly the males are very strong, vibrant personality. They are very charismatic, but they are sensitive and altruistic too. They can be dreamers. And sometimes people will accuse them of being disillusioned. They have a very sensitive side. It makes them very passionate. When I did the original research, I asked an elderly lady to describe Sunday bonds. And she says, it is fire on the ice. When you look on the surface, ice, cool, calm, collected, but there is a storm underneath it. Very accurate. But that is Sunday bonds for you. Kwesi and Akusia. Kwa, the creator, descended to begin creation on the day. Monday, Ejwada. That's the Akan name, Ejwada. And so the boys, the males are Kwejo, Kujo, Kujo, or other variants. And the girls are Ajoa, Ajoa. If you go into the Bible, you will find what happened on day two. Day two was the separation of the waters, the formation of the oceans. Interesting. There was the sky and there was a separation between evening and morning the second day. We, I'm trying to make the connections for you. Okay, these guys were born on the second day of creation when the skies, Irim, as it is called in Chi, was created. The oceans were separated. Everything was clear. Kwa, the creator. Wim, the sky. Day. So the creator made the skies day. Quest. So, Kwesiada was for Sunday, a Jwada. Iriem, it comes from we. Yeah, over time, we have evolved these things. And let's focus on the attributes next. Monday borns enjoy life to the fullest. They are enthusiastic, as you can see from what we selected to go with on the branding for our apparel. Very enthusiastic. They have an incredible zest for life. They are free-spirited, always want to be original in everything they do. The females are very maternal and incredibly feminine. But they can be slightly intolerant, stubborn, dominant. And the word jealous also comes in every now and again. 
unapologetically frank and direct, very persistent, open-minded. They are quite resilient and they are allergic to injustice. Whew, the Kujos are fun, very magnetic and dynamic. They are innovative, very masculine. There's also a sensitive layer in there, similar to the Kwesis, but they are leaders. They don't do well with insubordinate roles. They care about other people. They are emotional, but you do not want to step on the wrong side of a Monday born. Uh, yeah, it will not be wise. I will not recommend it. Let's go to the third day. Benada, the Akan name, Benada. So the girls are called Abena in tribute to the name. Kwabena, again, in tribute to the name. Or sometimes you would hear Kobena depending on the tribe. Go back to Genesis. Let the water under the sky be gathered into one place and let dry land appear. And it was so on day three. Well, the land was separated from the seas. Obviously, God saw that it was all good. Let the land produce vegetation. The plants and everything happened in this day. When everything was done, it was evening. And there was morning, the third day. Binada, Tuesday. Mm. God created the land on Binada. So Abinada, Abinada has evolved into the names. Okay. Attributes. Very, very interesting people. They are fiercely authoritarian, very ambitious, but quite generous. They are very confident, but they are sweet too. They are not good at sitting still and are constantly looking for a challenge and ways to improve their life. You could say that they are active and dynamic too, and it can lead to a whole mess sometimes and a lot of disorganization in the mind. Apparently, to other people. But to the actual people, it always feels that it's organized mess in the head. They are inquisitive. They want to know everything. They have a, an extreme zest for life. And they are all up for liberation. They will fight anybody's corner who they think is being treated with injustice. They are bold, quite principled, strong spirited but a lot of fun. They are fearless, but underneath, they are also kind, pure, with a sensitive heart. They are impulsive, and it brings a lot of explosive reactions when you deal with these Tuesday bonds. They are people, people. They love people. They bring people together. They are organizers. Strong believers of independence and freedoms. They are creative, intuitive. Hmm. They are very happy when they are in stable family units. The home is important. It is their castle. This is the gospel according to me. Thanks be to me <laughs> regarding the Tuesdays. Wukuda, Wednesday. A queer if you are female, ekua, aku, kweku, kweku, and so on. Those of you who like the biblical references, it's Genesis 1, 14 to 19 NIV. And God said, let there be light in the vault of the sky to separate the day from the night and let them serve as signs to mark sacred times, days, and years. Okay, interesting. God made two great lights to govern the day and the night. And he also made the stars. Interesting. You can go and find the biblical references. Yeah. How come there was day and night and now there is distinction? So it was actually set on Thursday and now we are distinguishing and putting order. Yeah. Wukuda. Interesting people. They are cool, calm and collected. So much that sometimes they even appear to be emotionless. Behind the facade, though, lies a very emotional person, but they know how to hide it. 
They are incredible when it comes to self-control. So they are easily accused of being too distant in relationships. They do not show vulnerability easily. They are rational, logical, hardworking. And in fact, you can describe them as perfectionists often. They are simple, romantic, and traditional. They are very cautious and hypersensitive though. So be careful when you deal with one of these. Yeah, they may look like they lack confidence. They may even look insecure on the outside, but don't be fooled by it. They are anything but. They are awesome humans to be around with. If your countenance is one who will allow them to operate for free. The legend is funny with these Wednesday bones, actually. In the Akan folklore, the devil is a quirk. Born on a Wednesday, the devil. Sweet tongue. Looks innocent. Hides a lot of things behind. Classic. And again, another huge character from the Akan folklore who is a quirku is the spider, Anansi. The crafty one. The intelligent one. The cunning one. So most people who use these attributes to describe Wednesday borns. I will let you decide. Were you born on a Wednesday? Do you want to contest it? I'm only telling you the folklore as we have discovered it from research. Yawoda, the Thursday. If you were born a boy on Thursday, your name is Yao. My son is a Yao. And if you are feminine, you are Ya. The biblical reference is Genesis 1, 20 to 23 NIV. So the Bible says that let the water team with living creatures, let the birds fly above. So organisms were actually made, created on this day. The earth was commanded to be fruitful and increase in number and fill every water and every bit of the land. Hmm. These guys are interesting. They are pleasant to be around. They are charming, in fact, very attractive. They find it quite amusing to please and entertain others. Oh, they love deeply. They are good communicators. They make excellent diplomats, these guys. Excellent diplomats. They can be fun, they can be fiery, but they know how to put people at ease. Okay, they can be hypersensitive too, but they are social beings. Mm, they are very courageous. They are very fair and very just in what they do, but they don't entertain nonsense. So be careful of that. In Akan, well, this is not folklore. This is an actual occurrence. One of the strongest women on record in the Akan literature, also corroborated by the colonial literature is the character Ya Asantua. Ya Asantua was an Akan princess. When the British came to fight and they were trying to dis disrupt the uh, war tactic of the Asante tribe, what they did was capture the king and they took the king to the Seychelles. When the king and the key royals were taken, the British were expecting to walk in and conquer. This area in Ghana is where the gold is, where the riches are. The British certainly wanted this. So uh, they removed the leaders and were expecting that they would walk into town and everybody would roll belly up. They made a mistake. The queen mother of Ejeso, Nanaya Asantoa, was also mobilizing the army in the bush unbeknown to them. They were not expecting any law uh, warlords. They were expecting just elderly men and some women. And they got defeated in a battle led by a ya. They are dreamers. They enjoy simple things. They are super fun to be around. They are eloquent. They are gifted with the art of speech, in fact. Very talented. They are very persuasive, these Thursday bonds. Next on the bill, Friday, Kofi. Oh, God, my husband is a Kofi. Fifi, Efia, Ifua. Reference is Genesis 1, 24 to 31. 
And the reference is, let the land produce living creatures according to the kinds, livestock, creatures that move on the ground, wild animals, blah, 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 blah. I will let you go look for the biblical references if you want. The Akan name for Friday is Ifiada. Yeah, they are highly vibrant, hardworking, but they are very patient. They are disciplined. They are organizers. Well, you know, sometimes they take organizing and cleanliness and tidiness to the extreme. <laughs> If you live with one of these, be prepared for them to pick up after you or disturb your peace until you have picked up after yourself. They are single-minded, slightly stubborn. Well, I think it's an understatement. They are incredibly stubborn. <laughs> but they might not look it when you see them from the outside. They have great ideals and ambitions. Yeah, they live with no limits. They are very creative. They are very difficult people to understand and figure out. Well, I have been trying to figure one out for two decades and I have failed miserably. You never know what they're going to do. They are very mysterious characters. They can be very weird sometimes, but it's weird in a good way. Again, they make very good diplomats. They make, they are strategists. And so if you ever need somebody to come up with a strategy, you want somebody to give a plan, you want solid counsel, solid advice, especially when it comes to creative projects, the Kofis and the Efias will be good ones to have. Dun, 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 dun. And on the Sabbath day, <laughs> Memeneda. Well, my name is Ama. So need I say more? Yeah. Genesis 2, 1 to 3. The heavens and the earth were complete by the seventh day. And it was made the Sabbath day for rest. Me, 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 da. Yeah. The creator decided that he was satisfied with everything. Yeah. Me, 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 da. Hmm. Saturday bones are incredibly humane and super intuitive. Those of you who watch me will hear that I make references to this all the time. They are all up for solidarity and they are drawn into helping others. They are advocates, particularly for those less privileged. Most Saturday bones are invested in establishing a better world. They may be selfless. Don't mind building castles in the sky, wherever. Mm -mm. We, we are happy to go as Saturday bonds, but we have incredibly high expectations of ourselves and of others. And it can be a huge burden dealing with a Saturday bond. We are endearing and adorable, but very direct and straightforward people too. Sometimes a Saturday bond will appear cocky and arrogant, but that is extreme confidence if you ask the Saturday bonds ourselves. Yes, they take pride in good appearance, they will always wear a smile, incredibly ambitious people. Yeah. But when Saturday bones are criticized, well, the ego is bruised. And when you bruise the ego, we have a problem because we can also be vindictive <laughs> and very tactical in attack. You want a Saturday bone on your team. You definitely don't want them as your opponent. They are courageous. They fight till the last second, till the last drop of the blood. Interesting. So this is the Akan Zodiac signs. Do you agree with the descriptions? Don't worry about the other ones. If you don't know the day you were born, go to Google, check your date of birth and work out what day it is. Figure out the attributes do let me know in the comments if it's concordant with you, if you agree or disagree. I can tell you on authority for me, for me personally, the descriptions of the Saturday is bang on, bang on. I am the idea factory. I can pop ideas like that, pop, 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 pop. And I expect other people to do the same. <laughs> and so, yeah, I have been accused of being a slave driver sometimes, but it turns out it is in the signs. It was on the day I was born. It's not even my fault. This is how I was made. I like these excuses. Anyway, let me hear from you in the comment section. Tell me what you think. 
you have any questions about it. And can I also say that I do apparel in these outfits? So once you know your day name, check in the comment section of the video. There will be a link for you to order uh, either a t-shirt or a hoodie in your day name so you can sport it and tell people about you. It has on the bottom the descriptors. So let's go one more time. Sunday bonds are intellectual. Monday bonds are enthusiastic. Tuesday bonds are dependable. Wednesdays are leaders. Thursdays are empathetic. Friday bonds are strategists. And yours truly is a geniuses. Well, if you disagree, have a fight with your phone. I shall not be there to participate. Catch you soon. Bye-bye.